monster truck and we've got a special edition today got a couple friends came all the way up from way southern texas and this is Raphael, and this is mario how they, you doing they brought me power wagons <laughs> we're gonna go out and do donuts chase coyotes get airborne we're gonna have fun with these things we're gonna tell you about them first because they got some cool upgrades Raphael's is a 2020 that's correct and mario's 2021 21. so we'll see if they make any changes in these <laughs> but these are cool trucks we're going to show you the options. Of course, they've got accessories. Everybody accessorizes their truck. Even Mr. Truck has accessories. This is what we do. But I love the power wagons. These are three quarter tons. So they're heavy duty. Got a full floating axle in the back. They got a full you know, heavy duty frame on them. Everything on these is heavy duty. And the only reason they're rated to tow, I think it was about between 10,300, 10,500, depending on options. And that's because it's kind of lifted. Anytime you do something to suspension, the manufacturers don't want to give you big numbers for towing. And that's the basic thing for it. But these trucks will tow, and you a bumper pull is probably a little, might be about the same because right. of the way things work out with that. I know you were wanting to look at towing. Right. And the only thing about what is, is a lift on these like yours is more of a lift which is yeah two, two, it's three. a three and a quarter three and a quarter yes. and normally like an two inch, inch and a half two, two inches inch. okay Home factor yeah. so you do all that on a, on a fifth wheel it's a little harder to do because you know you got to sometimes lift the trailer there's all kinds of things you have to do bumper pull you can do anything you want right and on a, on, on the smaller ones they about give you the same rating but once you get to the heavy duties the, the goosenecks the fifth wheels have a better rating but you know and i don't know if you bought that trailer yet you were talking about it not yet, not yet. But you can get to the a process. Gen Y hitch that'll, you know, draw, you can get as lift as you want. Awesome. And that is so cool about what you can do with these trucks because it's an off-road truck. It's like the only, well, Ford came out with the trimmer later and copied these and <laughs> all that stuff. But, man, these come equipped with a factory-worn uh, winch. It's, what, 12,000 pounds, 12,000 pounds, correct. And it's got a 14 rear end. It's all stuff that I like in a truck. And it's got a disconnect front sway bar. It's got a locker front and back. It's got like a gladiator or a wrangler. It's got all those cool toys, you know, and, I, and the trimmer keeps copying more stuff now. They've right. got a winch right. and, you know, they're doing a locker thing. It's, that's what's cool is the competition. But a long time, power wagons were all by themselves. Nobody else had a heavy duty off-road truck. And the last, uh, went, that's when I went to one of the launches, which probably two years ago, maybe three years ago. And we were uh, driving all over Arizona with those things. And in low range, you could go like 60 miles an hour. Is that how these are? Yeah, it's pretty fast. much. Yeah, Most they're fast. Low range, man, low range. Yeah. It doesn't mean that anymore. Right. right. It's crazy. I and mean, I grew up with power wagons. I mean, yeah, World War II, I wasn't quite that error. <laughs> but that's when I really got famous. And I had rancher friends that had them. Oh. And they were jacked up. And they were three quarter tons and one tons. And their lease spring on the back would have like 20 lease. And they're really short, so yeah. they, they jerked your teeth out. Oh, it wow. was really rough. So they changed all that. You know, a lot of them, these got longer springs. They got all kinds of things going on them now. And I think these are six and a half, six foot three beds. I think is what they are. Yeah, uh, six, six foot four. Six, six four. Okay. Six feet four inches. That is too cool. So you got a bed that you can use. Right. You know, and then wait a minute. Oh, there is running boards. <laughs> I'm not gonna climb in this. Yeah, I mean, you need running boards. You gotta have running boards. <laughs> I know a lot of off-road people don't like that. Right. But you know, it depends on what you use, use it for. Have you guys taken these off road in? Yeah, yeah, we have. We have. Do the creeks and stuff in Texas, or? Yeah, we have a little, a couple of hills over there, and, yeah. and desert running. So. You probably chase coyotes, can't you? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> That's More than coyotes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chase the coyotes off the road. You know, every time there's a flood, you gotta chase the coyotes That's right. out of there. But that's how that goes. So we're gonna look at these trucks and find all the cool features and what they've done to them, how they accessorize. So come with us for the review. Don't go away, Mr. Truck.TV. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay, Raphael, let's look at your truck. This is your 2020. That's right. Now, what all have you done to the front of this? Absolutely. So, right in the front, you're going to see the grill guard. It's actually a ranch hand. Oh yeah, ranch hands are good and heavy duty. Absolutely. And I did that because I travel a lot. Yeah. And especially on the farm roads, there's a lot of deer, a lot of cattle, and we want to prevent any accidents. <laughs> or yeah. if there's an accident, oh, not sure. as bad damage. Yeah, I've seen I've seen these in Texas. That's where I've got, I've got one too, but I've seen so many deer in Texas. And I've seen people get hit by Bambi and it wiped <laughs> out the intercooler, the radiator. So it doesn't take a whole lot for, for a deer to wipe you out Absolutely. or end up in your cab with you trying to steer. <laughs> or the windshield. Yeah. <laughs> that's so correct. that's a ranch hand. And then 
That's the factory worn winch with right. 12,000 so, pounds. So before we move on, I wanted to let you know this grill guard, it's special because it allows you to keep the winch axis oh. and the tow hooks. Oh good, it's space it's just for on. your truck. Exactly. That so is that's cool. Really Those neat. are big tow hooks. That's right. These are massive tow hooks and they're, they're um, body on the frame. Yeah. They're really strong. And then we have the factory winch. Which very handy, by the way. Oh, they are very handy. I've got winches on my ATVs and Absolutely. On my everything now. What, what kind of light did you add here? Yeah, this is a Rough Country LED oh. bar. I believe it's 30 inch. Yeah, I bought some of their parts for my Jeep. Absolutely, and it has this cover, which you might think, well, why do you need that? Well, when you're driving, and there's a lot of rocks. It protects it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's pretty like neat. That. Yeah. that is awesome. So that lights up the whole world. Huh? Oh, absolutely. Oh, it's, it, you need bar. it. You need it, yeah. especially if you're on the farm or in the country. Yeah, you definitely need that for sure. Yeah, you're definitely equipped for Texas. <laughs> well, I like this. What's the color? Is blue? On yes. This? Well, it's uh, they, they call it. Ram calls it the the app said it was laser blue. Oh. So. That's uh, it's the lighter blue. There's a patriot blue, which is a little bit navy. Yeah. But this one is a brighter blue, and well, it's that's called cool. It's almost like a fluorescent. I like the big black patch you got there in the middle. Big decal. That was stock. It came that's like stock. that. Yeah. That's stock. Yeah, they did some wagon. cool different paint jobs Graphics. and different decals on these. That's right. Wow, and I like even the lights. They look darker. They look like they're look like they're a little nasty. A little Absolutely. Mean. <laughs> oh, they're they're awesome. These LED lights at night help a lot. And you also have LED fog lamps. That's good. LEDs is that's the future. We'll pop the hood. We I want to see if there's an Let's engine in it. this. Yep, you've been in Colorado. I see some dust. <laughs> <laughs> a giant snorkel and a big air box. So yeah. what engine is this? This is a 6.4 liter natural aspirated V8. Yeah. stock i haven't done anything to it i like these big ones what's the horsepower and torque it's about i believe 410 horsepower and uh 400 and change of torque yes yeah, 429 yeah right yeah these, so, these got all kinds of power absolutely i mean you step on this and it'll go <laughs> even when the, loaded the, the fuel shuts off on some of the cylinders too. absolutely it has the uh, uh, hemi deactivation yeah. and especially on the highway it shuts down there's a button it's an eco button on yeah. the dashboard and basically cuts down to four cylinders. Makes it a little bit more efficient. Oh sure, what, what, do you, what is the fuel mileage on this on the highway? Well, I can tell you driving a thousand miles from South Texas to, to Denver, the average was 14.6 miles per well, gallon. That's pretty good. My last 250 did that till I did a bunch of modifications, okay. but that's pretty average. Yeah, this is stock, so yeah. and a <laughs> I haven't done anything. In, that's about what you're yeah. gonna get. It's yeah. a big heavy duty truck, 2500. Are these stock tires and stock wheels? Stock tires and wheels, I haven't changed cool. that. I know right. there's different configurations, but mine came blacked, black on black. Well, that's good. That's a real popular thing right now. Right. You know, people people like black bumpers, and me, I still like a little bit of chrome, <laughs> but oh well. I've got black bumpers now. <laughs> so show me what's all. Let's see. I guess the sun's going to be okay. Okay. So you've got. I have these stock. Are factory running yeah, boards? factory yeah. running boards. I they love running like boards. I mean, oh, I we know need the off road guys. They, yeah. <laughs> I know yeah. that for off road, you don't need them, but daily use, you do. <laughs> Well, I always thought this was cool when they put the big power wagon. Absolutely. Uh, lay, you know, the, I mean, the logo on the when side. When you spend over 70, 80K on a truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you need to show it off, right? <laughs> That's true. You want people to notice what you got. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. You haven't done anything to the exhaust? Nothing, nothing. This is all stock. Cool. I do have, uh, just in case we get stuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. You probably got the D-ring or whatever uh, you are. Yeah. What, uh, what's SR stand for? Oh, that's the Solro State University. That's oh. where I got my master's. My dad Texas. wanted me to go to college. <laughs> 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 Don't all dads want that. <laughs> oh, you got ram in the taillights. I always yeah. thought that was cute. Little yeah. Easter eggs. No, I have another thing. I don't know if you saw where the Hemi and the 2500, they're red colored. Yeah. My brother, he actually did, did uh, this. So he, it's like a little... It's not painted, but it's like it's red, so it kind of yeah. like matches that. But oh, that's cool! Yeah. Everybody loves. To and you can modify. remove this; you just peel it off. Oh it's, yeah, yeah. It's it's not painted. That's but, awesome. Ram uh, power wagon. I wasn't wanted a power too. wagon. <laughs> These are the tall boys. Absolutely. Then the other accessory I added was the weather guard. Yes. You need that if you have a truck. <laughs> or, you got to you know, cross over it. Um, and I have all the accessories there. 
whatever I need, you know. I did weather guard before. There's a lot of good toolboxes. They're yeah. one of the better ones for, you know, being commercial type. Yeah, that's absolutely. Are these Bilstein shocks on That's here? correct. Stock oh. Bilstein, two inch yeah, lift from factory. Five length suspension. Five length, you know. Smoother, that, smoother that, ride. That was a big thing the first Ford Raptors didn't have. Now they will. The, now they copy T Rex. Yeah, huh? exactly. Ram did a lot. I mean, I love the air suspension. Is air suspension oh, yeah. available on these? Can no, not here? on the power wagon, okay. only on the regular 2500. Okay, because I'm a big fan of that. Oh, yeah. So this is this is coils all the way around? Coils, springs, yeah. And they make Coil. a big difference on ride, too. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can cool. tell right off the bat when you're driving another brand of truck yeah. that don't have it, you can tell right away. Oh, yeah, Andre and I, that's what we did uh, Wednesday. We had that one. They bought their Ram 2500 with a right. diesel. And it had coils, and it rode better than if we had a Chevy with us, right. an LTZ, right. and it rode better than the Absolutely. Chevy's leaf springs. But yeah, well, cool. Well, show me in the inside yeah, of this rascal. So what Wait, is right you here? got wires all over. That's stuff I do. We got wires all over. Okay. <laughs> when you're traveling, you have phone chargers and <laughs> you plug whatnot. In but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, there's several levels. I think the power wagon starts around 55k basic tradesman, right? And then you can option it as much as you want. Well, in this cool. case, <laughs> in this year, I have everything except for one accessory. But oh, I, have, yeah. I have moon the the, <clears throat> uh, the twelve inch touchscreen. Oh, I love that! Oh, it's perfect. We were <laughs> on awesome. that. We were on, when they yeah. first came out with that, and all the rest of their trucks. We I was on camera with yeah. Andre doing a live show. Yeah. And the guy in charge of it. What's the name of the guy? He sang for the Doors a long time ago, yeah. Jim Morrison. Okay. And he was the Ram guy in charge of Ram. Yeah. And he came on, he's doing a, this live podcast with us. And I said, when are you going to come out and put the 12-inch and everything else? And he goes, well, here, give me 30 minutes. <laughs> and in 30 minutes, they did their major announcement. That oh, they, wow. And I love that 12-inch Oh, screen. yeah. That is so I, awesome. I always had the 8-inch from Ram, the 8.4, and it was yeah. great. Never well, complained, but this one, it's much easier to read. And well, this probably happened in 2000, wasn't it? In 2020? Right. Yeah. Right. So the new model. What do you think of the knob? I know there's a controversy over it. Oh, well, I'll tell it? you, I think it's a, it's an age thing. But for us, it's better. I'll tell you why. It removes the space. You have more space. Oh, yeah. And and the, the shift, the shifter, it blocks the air vent, too. So oh. for us, it's I prefer the knob. It's well, easier to reach. That's good. I, I don't think it's, it's more going comfortable. Away. <laughs> Hopefully, it does not because no, the that's one thing that makes RAM really attractive, at least in my case. Yeah. It's the, that it's shift. Yeah. It's easier for. Well, the TRX doesn't have it, and then that new GT doesn't uh, have it. Doesn't either. have it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it, it's it's in SUVs. It's everywhere. Right. So you got to get used to yeah. it. And right. I still like the knob better than the push button. Oh yeah. The Honda Ridgeline, a bunch of those have the stupid, and they all buttons all go right. different directions for right. you. It's crazy. No, no, I like the, the knob for sure. Yeah. Now I do have a, a, a sunroof. Yeah. So I well, that's know. good. You got you got the right amount of toys. Is this the midline power wagon or this which is, model is this? This called? is the the top of pretty much the top of the line. Top of at, line. At, at is that 2020, level three? Year 2020. I cannot remember how they uh, it's go by options actually. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't I don't think it's the level, but it's goes by options, at least in 2020 model. Yeah. I have all the bells and whistles except for the 360 camera option. Oh yeah. Didn't have it. Yeah. But I have the safety, 360 safety and the camera and the sunroof and leather seats. I well, mean you name it. Let's open up. You got beer back here, I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> Absolutely. Get you arrested. Oh that's cool. <laughs> yeah. So leather seats. And you got air up. back there, you got all that stuff. Warm up. Yeah, it's awesome. Outlets. I love the the black, the black on yeah, blue. That's stock. Yeah. That's all stock. That is cool. It looks it looks great. And then the four by four is manual. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. That's that's what I'm used to too. You know, that's dependable. Yeah. A lot of the other crap, electronics. <laughs> sometimes it'll fail. You get some mud right. on some connection. Right. Yeah. And and another neat feature from this year is that it's a six seater, right? Oh. Oh, oh, so, I love this truck. Right. I'll, I'll trade you straight across. Absolutely. I'll trade. <laughs> mine's, a, mine's a 19, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, having six seats is the one thing I miss. I missed right. it a lot. Yeah, it helps, you know, it helps. Oh, it does. I mean, yeah, uh, that's... If you have family. They got to fold their middle legs in, but, yeah. you know, my 250 had that, and I loved it. I could take just the right amount of kids with right. me. It was right. wonderful, and now my 150, I'm always cheap, so I'm always buying it at right. the end of the year. To right. get all the rebates, and then they didn't have any. They didn't have any six and a half foot beds like I wanted. I had to get yeah. a five and a half. So it's, yeah, it's got a, 
you gotta buy these right and way ahead of time right. to get what you want. That's right. But that is so cool. Good looking truck. And one last accessory I did put was the the uh, the the film for the windows. Yeah. The uh, oh, you dark tint. The tint. I'm yeah. sorry. Cool. So on the back, they're all the five percent, which is the darkest, and the front is just the legal, right? For Texas. Well, that's good. Yeah. Right. See, but you I, need this in Texas because it's so hot. <laughs> I know. So I know. That's and the it's, other. It's humid. Well, that's, that's metallic accessory. paint. That's gorgeous. Absolutely. Now, did the cab lights come with it? Is that part yes, of the package? Yes, it's all, all the power lines have that. Okay, cool. I believe, and yeah. it's a two-inch lift. Stock, factory stock. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's, I love it that it's three-quarter ton. You got full floating axle. No. So you got the stuff that's really made that. No. Uh, and the step, have you seen the step? Oh, the one that pops out? Yeah, it helps. I know it's gimmicky, but it does help. Oh, yeah. Especially my wife, too. You know? Well, sure. You know, now they got the barn doors. The yeah. big tailgate thing. I, yeah. I like the you know, Chevy's corner step. I like right. that corner step. I mean, this has been on most of the Nissans I've had this year. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah you got to have works. help. They get a tall truck. What are you going to do? You're, yeah. you're not born seven feet tall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that factory? Yeah, it's factory. Just push a button, drops push button tailgate. Push button, drops. You got the bed liner in here? Yeah, this is factory, too. The bed liners came oh, factory. Awesome. I, I honestly don't prefer factory because... The quality's not as good as uh, third party. Yeah, I don't think it's as thick either. Right, exactly. Yeah. So I already, if you see, it's already yeah. chipped away, but it, it was factory. And I have LED lights in the back. There's a button there. Well, that's good. You should always, stock. It's all stock. You should always have extra lights in the in the bed. Yeah, you know. Now that we've got a new thing going on with the daylight savings time, <laughs> but usually you always work in the yeah. dark part of the year. It's just that's how right. it goes. It's a gorgeous truck. That's right. And no, I like it, but I will. I'll trade you straight across from my truck. <laughs> now, one thing that I didn't know about this was when you're in reverse and you have a trailer, you can actually turn on LED lights and they point straight to the back. Yeah, that's a new thing. Chevy has a Ford shoots off right. that way somewhere. Right. But yeah, so I remember that's really when they neat. did that. It that's helps, so cool. especially at night. Well, yeah, backing up to a trailer, you know, yeah, it lights you up everything. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. You got the you got this trader mirror, so you're ready for that trader when you oh, decide yeah. which one to get. Absolutely, you got it made. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and door number two is Mario. Where's Mario? <laughs> now those grills are different too. So is that what they changed in 2021? Uh, yeah, they did. It's a 75th anniversary. Oh, cool. So yours goes up and down. Both of these have the, I guess, the, the grill shutters. Okay, door number two, the 2021 Power Wagon. This is Mario. How you doing? Good, good. So you like your truck? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's cool. Uh, the 75th anniversary. Uh, it did a couple of changes, mostly the, in the interior and the uh, the front, the grill. Yeah, I noticed the grill's different yeah, on these. Different. These remind me of a Toyota grill. They have those ones that go straight up and down. That's just yeah. awesome. And then, of course, you got the grill shutters in there, so you can save a little bit of fuel mileage. And you got some giant tires on this. But look, you put a bull. Is that a bull bar? Yeah, it's a. It's called from. It's from Randy Ellis Designs. Uh -huh. And uh, you can mount either a uh, light bar or four pots. Yeah, so I, I got mine in order. The, they should be here pretty soon. Awesome! It's got the cool. And we got a inner cooler guard on. underneath from CJC Off Road. Oh. I took out the air damp. Gives you a little bit more clearance on the front. Yeah, yeah, that way you can run over and not get all bloody when you hit something or somebody. Got the 6.4 engine two with uh, the 410 and 429 torque. Uh -huh. well, come over here by the truck. I want to get you in the picture. But yeah, this is cool. This is white. Now, see, I love the blue. But white is all I yeah. ever buy. You probably noticed that with my truck. All I buy is white, and that's for hail damage, it's for mud, it's for dents. Everything, yeah. And then I put decals all over it. So, you know, I know Roman hates it. Andre hates white ones, but that's what I do. But that's cool. Now, good gosh, tell me about your, your what size of a lift do those, you have? There's a three and a quarter inch lift, and they're with Fox Shocks. It's, cause it's from uh, Carly Backcountry. Oh, Carly, yeah, yeah. they're a pretty famous outfit. So is that self-adjusting, or do you have to adjust? No, they already they already come uh, adjusted. Okay, so you're all set. So does that make the ride better than what yes, it was before? Yes, it's really smooth now. Wow, that's awesome. Now, what size are these tires? Those are 37s, 1250, 17s, and the wheels wow. are AEV. 
Okay, those are pretty big. So what what, what kind of fuel mileage did you get with these monster uh, I'm tires? getting 12 now. Well, that makes so. sense. That's how it works. Lost a little bit, but it looks cool and it drives great. Oh, it so. does. And you can just jump off road anytime you yeah. want to and go go rock climbing or whatever you do. But that's cool. The Fox shocks. You got the piggybacks. Yeah. Reservoirs. The reservoirs. Far out. Of course, both of these have the disconnecting sway bar, right? Correct. That is, this thing's made for off-road other than just a little heavy, but you know, like if you're going on rocks, it doesn't matter. If you're in the middle of sand, you might think about it. You got to air your tires down and all that. So cool. So I thought you got the decal, it says 75th anniversary. Yeah, that's the 75th. Wow. So the 75th, they have a different interior. They got a brown interior inside. Oh, okay. So it's like, it's like a two-tone brown? Yeah, two-tone brown and black. Wow, that is, that's cool. There was only 2,000 of these made. This is built number 1706. Wow. Of course, you got the 12-inch screen. You got the knob. Wait a minute. Where's the four-wheel drive? It's Where a, is it? it that one the, is electronic. It yes, has a button on it. you got the electric one. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Of course, tilt and telescope, automatic headlights, power pedals. Wow. So what else is special? That's cool. I want to get a picture of this decal. Oh, you got it locked. There you go. Because this is too cool. Power wagon. Yeah, they only built 2,000 of them for this special edition 75th anniversary. Wow, that's awesome. So you got the VIN number and everything yeah. like that. Yeah, it makes it look special. That's awesome. You got moon roof. Yeah, so originally these came with rock sliders and I switched out the running boards to a diesel they're from midnight edition oh just get a better step the original rock sliders were too small yeah they're just like an inch and a half wide yeah they're <laughs> really not good for much except for protecting yeah. you but i guess this will probably stop a few rocks that is so yeah. awesome also and got the weather weather guard toolbox well that's uh, a weather guard yeah but i, I rhino lined it. it oh cool so you guys really like these weather techs yeah. i've had one and i've liked it they're expensive but I like them. Yeah. <laughs> and now it lasts forever, too. Yeah. Big speakers back here. Yeah, I love that two-tone. It's like a dark brown goes to a tan. Oh, man. That is too cool. Real similar. You got speakers all over the place. Are those Infinities on here? What do they use? I think it's uh, Hardin Carmen. Oh, yeah. That's right. And you've got the, the big console with all the storage in it. And the moon roof. I always like the little cool leather thing they put on your yeah, it's nice. chute guards, your handle rails. I need those handles. Cool. Well, you got all kinds of clearance. Does that, yeah, lift it, lift it up quite a bit. I think yeah. I, I gained an extra two inches in the front and an inch in the back. So it's more leveled now. Yeah. So those are those are nitros. Now, those are pretty big grip on them. Does that make much noise going down the highway? No, they don't. You can't even hear them. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. Yeah, they're just they're designed for for noise noise yeah. cancellation. They can do it in the old days. Anything like yeah. that wind. I mean, the last AT4 I had had whatever they were, and those things the loudest tires I have heard in decades, and I don't know why, but uh, you know they got good grip on them. But it used to be you couldn't get the big lugs without noise. She got your receiver. So do you have a trailer? Yeah, I have an RV, a oh, 20 cool. foot RV. It pulls it like it's not even there. Wow. What's it weigh? Uh, I think it's like 7,000 pounds or so. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, these go up all the way up to almost a 10.5 on uh, Gooseneck. I haven't looked at the conventional because now they do goofy things there, so you can't tell what they're doing. But Thor off-road. What yeah. part's of Thor off-road? Thor is from uh, just west of Austin. They they installed the lift. Uh, oh, so they, they're a Carly dealer. Yeah, they're a Carly dealer. Oh, wow. Dude, great job. Great guys out there. Yeah. And have you done anything to the exhaust? It looks yeah, different. I did. Actually, I'll turn it on for you. Okay. I did the uh, Magnaflow Catback exhaust. Oh, Magnaflow's a good brand. And it changes everything. Wow. Holy cow. Oh, Sounds geez. like a truck now. Man, oh, macro. That's got some tunes. I like yeah. it. And no drone in the cab whenever you're driving around. Oh, really? No drone? No drone. Well, that's good because, you know... You got two things against you, those big lug tires and a big exhaust, and to have all that quiet when you want it is really, yeah. <laughs> that's a nice yeah. way to do it. It's really comfortable in the cab. Now, and this, then they this... even changed the decals for the 75th anniversary. They have smaller power wagon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is different. Now, what kind of, those are special wheels too, aren't they? Yes, they have a, a different offset so you can have more clearance. Oh, well that's good because, you know, a lot of times Chevy, they get, or not Chevy, Ram gets real close to the brakes. Yes. So they offset them clear to the outside, then they're past your fenders and yeah. they're knocking off paint. So this is a better deal. Basically a flat wheel. That's awesome. So you're not going to have paint chip on this, are you? You got. I'm pretty some. sure you still will, but <laughs> some. Well, I think you have to add <laughs> much flats for that. <laughs> depends on how much you're flying. Oh, that's awesome. Nice truck. Another cool thing about the 2021 75th anniversary is they got projector headlights. This is awesome. I love these. A lot of vehicles I'll test right have these. And man, it's just like night and day. It's really bright. And then right above them, it's totally dark. It's cool how they do these projector headlights. That is far out on the 2021 Power Wagon of Mario's. You like your truck, don't you? Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> What about you, Raphael? Do you like your truck? Oh, I love it. I love it. And actually, I went to go get a, a Ford Raptor, and I took my wife. Yeah. And she said, I love it. And then I said, oh, let's look at the new Power Wagon and the T-Rex. I said, no, the Power Wagon is way better. Right. Well, it's bigger. Wow. It looks more meaningful. So, she took this yeah, over a TRX? <laughs> Holy cow. And the Raptor actually, you know, over yeah. the Raptor. So yeah. That's she actually chose it. Said, oh, that's I, awesome. The power wind looks way better than the Raptor. I was like, okay. Well, that's cool. Well, it's a lot bigger than a Raptor. Raptor's yeah, wider. Bigger, that's about wider. it. Yeah. But also, the main other reason is it's a natural aspirated V8. Yeah. And if ever something goes wrong, it's easy to fix. Yeah. Almost yeah. anybody. And lastly, for towing, I have uh, trailers and all that for work and all that. So, yeah, okay. Raptor's like 8,000. I think TRX is like 8,010 or something. And this, it's, you can probably tow more than... 10,000 with no problem, right? Oh, yeah, I, I would, but don't tell anybody that. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that, and that's so, the thing about a, a right, three quarter duty, ton, you got quarter, full floor, right. and you got four bearings on the back, not right. two. Right. Everything about these is heavier duty. You got the heavier duty frame. Right. So, yeah, this is one you can really go out and tear the crap out of things. <laughs> it's a different type of truck, right? Raptor T Rex is for racing, and these are. Yeah. Full off road. Yeah, you're not a desert runner with these. These are kind of heavy. I think they're great on rocks. And have you ever had it out on sand? Uh, yes, actually. Did a it do well? Sand, yeah, but yeah. but the tires help a lot. And this is actually my second set. You're wearing <laughs> tires put, out on this yeah, already. Yeah, huh? they wear out so fast. <laughs> uh, yeah, at yeah. twenty-five thousand, uh, the Dura tracks went. Well, they were still good, but you start spinning. Yeah. And I, I just put new ones. So. Well, that's the thing about these tires. You go off road, you got to air them down right. and all that stuff, right. and right. that really makes things better. Well, guys, I appreciate you coming all the way up here. So you guys are going to go snowmobiling this afternoon. This afternoon, that's right. Wow, that's cool. Wish I had time to go with you. I haven't done snowmobiles in 30 <laughs> let's years. Go. Let's go. Yeah. There's time. <laughs> I'd have to get on the inner tube. I'll slide down by you on the inner tube. That's about all I can do. But, man, that is just too cool. I appreciate you coming. Well, thank you for, for letting us show off our trucks. You know? well, yeah, excuse me. It's a great truck. I really that's enjoyed it. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys it. have fun in Colorado. That's right. Say hi to Texas. I like Texas, but I only like it in the winter. I don't like it in the summer. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Hopefully, I'll see you guys sometime at a gas station. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, we got a clapping crowd, finally. It's a clapping crowd. <laughs>